Hey everybody, this is Dr. William Clark here, and before we jump into our show, I wanted to share a resource with you that can help you get your podcasting off the ground. Anchor is the one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Best of all, it is 100% free and really easy to use. And now, Anchor can match you with great sponsors who want to advertise on your podcast. That means you can get paid to podcast right away. In fact, that's what I'm doing right now by reading this ad to you. So if you want to get Get started with podcasting and you want to make it as simple as possible, go ahead and visit anchor.fm forward slash start. Now, let's jump into our show. Hey everyone, this is Dr. William Clark. So glad you're joining me today. I'm so happy to be back in the saddle with you and haven't been in the studio in so long. But I wanted to take this moment to record this quick podcast to encourage you. We're still finishing the year strong. This is our time of the year where we're focusing exclusively on finishing the year strong. And I've been sharing a number of uh, podcasts uh, with you to to make sure you're finishing the year strong because the year is not over yet. I know by the time you hear this podcast, we're either halfway through December or we're at least closer to Christmas and definitely closer to the new year. But the reality is the year is not over and there are some things that you and I got to do to make sure we finish the year strong. And I want to make sure you have everything you need to do just that. Now, in order to finish the year strong, we've been talking about a number of topics and ideas specifically around, you know, the mindset, the way you approach your 2019, how do you prep for 2020, or even how do you even address your customers who are in fact a part of your uh, finishing the year strong. And, you know, this morning, as you're listening to this podcast and you're prepping for and thinking about, well, listen, what do I do now for 2019? I've done everything that I've, I could have done to finish the year strong. Well, one thing I do want to encourage you to do if you haven't done so already, and that is to take an assessment of what you've accomplished in 2019. Now, there have been variations of that that I've shared with you uh, that certainly, you know, where I've talked about uh, doing an assessment, but in reality, doing an assessment of your year is not only saying, okay, where, what goals have I achieved and what have I done up to this point? And what can I say that uh, that we've accomplished? But beyond that, if you're going beyond that, one of the things you want to do is actually do a detailed assessment against the goals or the KPIs that you set out for the beginning of the year. Now, if you didn't do these, this particular podcast is not relevant for you this year, but it's going to be relevant for you going into 2020. Because if you haven't set specific KPIs uh, going into 2020, you're going to want to do that. And it's relevant to what we're going to talk about. But if you did set KPIs for... Uh, Uh, 2019, you want to make sure you take the time to look at what have I done relative to those goals. So for example, I have set an audacious goal for myself to record 300 podcasts in 2020. And the how, uh, in terms of how I'm going to do that, you know, is a variety of ways that I'm going to do that. Um, But I'll share that with you. So one of the ways I'm going to do that, obviously, you guys know whether we have the podcast studio here um, locally. But then also, I was able to get my hands on a piece of mobile uh, tech where, you know, it's a, a microphone that I can plug into one of my headphones It has studio quality sound that even if I'm on the go on the road early in the morning, I got to be somewhere and I just can't get to the studio to record or on the weekend I'm I'm with the kids and I just can't get to the studio. I can simply, you know, in the comfort of my home, in the comfort of my car, plug in this microphone into my headset and you guys will hear a quality audio, uh, a studio sound, maybe not as good as the podcast studio, uh, but good enough, right? And as I thought through that, the other thought I had was, well, also, um, if I do this, if I'm more on the go, if I'm more mobile, that means I'm also sacrificing the video function of the podcast, which we do do on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, etc. And so if I'm willing to do that, is there an alternative option? And there is. You won't be able to see me, but there is an alternative video option that turns the podcast audio recording into a video recording that can be uploaded. And so... The how is, again, the mobile microphone and then the conversion of the audio podcast into a video. That is how I'm going to do it. And this will allow me to record one, maybe two or three podcasts a day, Monday through Friday. And that way I don't have to record on the weekend and that will get me to my goal. Now, 
if I record 300 podcasts, I think is irrelevant for this particular podcast and example. But what's more relevant to you as you're listening to this is to know that there is a KPI set for me as it relates to my podcasting. And as I was talking to uh, someone, what what they interpreted my 300 goal was, well, you just want to be more consistent. And, And in my mind, I say, yeah. I do want to be consistent. I want to record every day and I also want to publish every day and I want to make it easier to get this out and not worry about the the editing process, the post processing process, the upload process, etc. So there are a number of reasons why this matters to me. Uh but it's more than consistency. It's about a specific goal because I want to make sure that in 2020 there's enough content coming from me to you about the topic that I really want to address next year and we're going to be addressing fundraising and grant writing and raising all types of money for your nonprofit, everything that goes into that. And I want to address that with you all 2020. But in order to do that, in order to give you the the best content that will help you on that journey, I'm going to have to make sure you have enough content available on a regular basis. And so this, this is where the 300 comes in. It's literally the goal is can I do – well, I can't do 365 obviously because if I'm taking off the weekends. But you guys get the point. Every weekday minus holidays and weekends – Will you have a podcast? That is the goal. And it's not about consistency. It's about giving you something every day. Now, again, whether I hit it or not, it's a different story. So the goal is to hit it. But what's more important is there is a number attached with the goal. There's a number attached with the consistency. And instead of saying, I want to be consistent at podcasting, I and actually I'm being more specific. I want to actually be able to publish and post, record, publish, and post. 300 podcast episodes. That is very specific. And I think a lot of us struggle with being specific about what we want to achieve. And so we let ourselves off the hook by saying, I just want to be more consistent. Consistent how? Do you want to record one podcast a week, which is totally fine? One podcast a month, which is totally fine? Twice a week, which is totally fine? Once a quarter, totally fine? Consistency is defined by the person that is making a goal. Now, the person that told me, you want, you, it sounds like you want to be consistent. Yeah, that's cool. Consistent for you is different from me. I want to record every day, minus weekends and holidays. That means, I think when I did the math, it's around 300 or so days of the year that needs a podcast. And at the end of the year, whether I hit 300, go over 300, or come under, there's going to be a KPI, which means the number of podcasts I released in 2020 divided by my goal of 300 will give me the percentage of my goal. And I'm giving you this example of mine so that you can begin to wrestle with what are my goals for 2020? Not I want to be consistent. Not I want to launch a business. Not I want to launch my nonprofit. Not I want to raise money for my nonprofit. No. Be more specific. I want to raise $50,000 from a nonprofit. Great. I want to raise $20,000 from my business. Great. I want to increase revenue and sales by 20%. Awesome sauce. The more specific numbers, the more you can hold yourself accountable and you can begin to track the details. For me, getting the 300 podcast is not about the 300. It's about the process as well. What time do I need to get up in the morning? What time of day do I need to record? Because my morning voice can sound really like a morning voice. So do y'all really want to hear that? If yes, then I record as soon as I get up. If not, do I drink a cup of coffee, cup of tea, or do I record later in the day, in the afternoon? Am I too tired after work and all this other stuff? It's a process. And, th- and that whatever I decide to do will influence and impact my ability to hit my goal of 300. And it's going to be the same for you. You're going to have to examine, examine and evaluate the processes that you go through. Because it's going to matter to you hitting your goal. So you need to measure your goals. Now for 2019, if you set goals, certainly you need to measure and see how how well you've done. If you have not, then get ready for 2020 and set goals for 2020. For me, putting it out there, 300 podcasts, that's one of several goals I have for myself. And there are numbers attached to every goal I have. What are your goals? Follow me on drwilliampclark.com. Social media links are there. Uh, all my resources are there. Classes are there. More classes are coming. Y'all going to be have, have to be on the lookout. More is coming to Dr. William P. Clark. I'm so excited for what I'm going to offer in 2020. And I'm hoping that you will be there on a journey with me. This is Dr. William Clark for Leisure Conversations. We'll see you in the next show. Peace.